Hi, I'm Terry Brock, and you know today we're using Skype for more and more capabilities for reaching people, and when you're in the market for a job, it's very important, and we've got a treat for you today. I have got with me, joining me right now from his office, which can be just about anywhere because he works remotely, Jeff Garber. He is the CEO of 360 Job Interview, and he has people that are around the country that can help you in a very concise way. Jeff, thanks for joining us today. Hey, you're welcome. My pleasure, Terry. I'm really excited. I've been looking at your website, and I've seen the kind of things that you do, uh, how you help people as they're doing interviews, and they're doing it now. We're seeing more and more people using tools like Skype. Are you seeing that as a growing trend? You know, absolutely. It's, uh, it's not so much a trend anymore because trend sort of gives the feeling that it's going to be in the future. It's mm -hmm. here in the now and the present. When you have over 500 million people using Skype and you watch it daily on CNN, ABC, and the most recent uh, uh, disaster in Japan and most of the reporters were delivering their story via Skype, it's here now. It's not a trend. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Why do you think that is? Well, I think that technology has really enabled us for connectivity. I think it's an easy technology for folks to use, and people have really embraced it. I think what happened was it actually grew out of their personal use, connecting with loved ones, families across the country or all over the world, and they have moved. And once they've in a, sort of brought it into their own lives, they felt comfortable. And then, of course, when uh, the business applications came, um, uh, uh, you know, as that was being developed, they felt very comfortable using the technology. Yeah, it makes a logical extension from what we've been doing personally. And now we see the real business application of it. And what more practical application than knowing how to interview? Now, I understand you're helping people in that you interview them. You provide that as a service on your website. And uh, I wanted to twist your arm a little bit here now that we got you on screen to find out a few of the tips that are available, at least get a couple of them from you here on the video that you would advise to someone who is uh, maybe they're looking for that job. They don't do a lot of interviews, but they want to make sure they come across well. What are a few tips that you could pass along to that person? Well, you know, first of all is we provide a lot of career counseling, interview coaching, and resume building via Skype. So we're very familiar with the technology and so is our coaches. You know, a couple of things is um, we want people to feel familiar with the technology. More and more employers are going to opt for the first screening to be uh, via Skype for a number of reasons. One is it's more economical for them. They don't have to fly a potential candidate into the home office. And also you can record a Skype interview. Our 360 workforce, which is directed towards the employers, we actually record potential candidate interviews for job openings. But from a counseling standpoint, we say to the job seeker is, first of all, Get familiar with the technology. Mm -hmm. Skype is free as far as using it on uh, online in a webcam. Sign up for an account. It's very easy to do. Second of all is if you have an interview coming up that is on Skype or webcam-based uh, uh, technology, get familiar with it. Mm -hmm. Once you sign up, spend some time with it maybe Skype a friend or a colleague, make sure prior to the interview you're totally comfortable with the technology. Because the worst thing would be is to start an interview and show the fact that you are ill-prepared and you're not familiar with technology. In this day of competitive jobs, you have to be on the cutting edge of embracing technology. And in some ways, this is a live test that if you are ill-prepared and not coming across technology proficient, it will work against you. Well, you've got a lot of good ideas there, and I, I really love the site that you have and what you're doing and the service you're providing for people. Those of you watching, I would encourage you to go over to the site because, hey, like the old saying, dig your well before you're thirsty. You want to learn how to use these skills if you ever need them. And if uh, that pink slip ever comes your way, you want to at least know you've got some interview skills down that you've acquired, and they're very reasonably priced there. You'll find out all the information on the site. And again, Jeff, tell us how they find that site. It's uh, 360jobinterview.com. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. I'm Terry Brock, and thank you for being with us here on this Skype interview.